Hi, it's Debbie again. Uh, Kathy said she wanted to see some quilting actually being done. Um, so um, I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see. I can't get my tripod up any higher than where it is right now. So um, we'll see how this works. Um, I put a strip down the side so that I can uh, test out um, my tensions to make sure everything's okay. So uh, it might get a little loud and uh, you might have trouble hearing me and for that I'm sorry. Um, but we'll just see um, if this still maintains. I, I had to uh, drop my upper tension just a tad. So let me take a peek and see how this is working now. So I just kind of do a little bit of playing around just like I would be doing on my quilt. Um, so that I can take a peek and see. That looks much better. So now um, I'm going to bring this up and raise my foot so that I can cut that. Of course I wasn't prepared with scissors or anything. but um, So I cut that, um, bring it over, and uh, I'm going to do the, the border later. So I'm just going to start here. And I've heard people say that you shouldn't start in the corner because then that's kind of where everyone's eye is drawn um, initially. So they recommend that you, you know, they, whoever they are, they recommend that you start out uh, in kind of a innocuous place. Is that the right word? Uh, so make sure you hold that top thread. Uh, you're going to go down one. And hopefully this will work. And I'm going to pull that thread up. So now I have my top thread and that. And I'm just going to hold the two of them. I hope my hand isn't in the way. I'm sorry if it is. And generally I just quilt or stitch in that same hole like three times. Um, in my opinion you can cut the thread at this point. But that's, you know, everyone has their own thing. I then turn my machine up just a tad, and I'm just going to do some meandering loop-de-loops in here. So I hope you don't mind too much, um, and I hope you can actually see it. So here we go. You can see it's pretty much just straightforward of how whatever you want to do. Um, this kind of stuff is really relaxing. Um, once you get the hang of it, it's not so stressful. And initially, you spend so much time trying to figure out where you're going next and what you're going to do that it really isn't all that much fun. But once you get Lots of practice in. Uh, you'll find that it's uh, quite enjoyable. Now this, I never um, float a top, uh, but this one is as close to floating as I'm going to get. Um, if you can see up at the top edge, uh, there's that plastic clamp. Um, that we had, were talking about a few weeks ago on the forum uh, that came off of a, a, a floor PVC uh, plant. Um, this up here. And um, I just stuck it over the, um, the uh, whatever that thing is called, my brain. I can't, obviously I can't quote and talk at the same time. Um, I just stuck it over the pole and um, used that at the top and I've got the same thing on the underneath part. Um, this wall hanging is, is quite small. Um, it's a gift for my sister-in-law who doesn't know it's coming yet. So I'm um, just kind of getting it done and 
getting it to her so that she can enjoy it. Um, generally, I try to um, keep my hand close to where I'm floating. Sometimes it gets to be a little difficult to um, um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, I'm getting towards the end, so I'm thinking about stopping. So, um, now, generally, oh, my bottom thread just broke. Oh, actually, the top thread just broke. So, another great learning experience. What's up? Let's see, bobbin is just fine, so my top thread broke for some reason. It just be the thread. Looks like it's got a good knot. Well, big hunk of something on the end of it. So, I hope that helped you a little bit. Generally, what I do when I get to the end is I just leave the needle there. And then I leave the needle down and I roll the quilt so that it stays there. Um, hope that helps you, Kathy. Hope you could see it. Something tells me you couldn't.